Hi. Hi, Rebecca. Lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you. You are somewhat of a rarity in the Mission Impossible franchise because you and your character, Ilsa, have appeared in multiple films, which is, which is quite cool. Were you sort of quite pleased to be invited back? I did not expect them to call me and say that we want Ilsa to come back. I think they might have been tired because I've been emailing them and calling them <laughs> saying, I need to be Ilsa again. So they just said, just bring her back. <laughs> Um, mm, no fine. jokes. Yeah, fine, I'll do it. Uh, no, all jokes aside, I, I, I think she's such an incredible character to play in so many ways, and the training that I need to do mm. for her. It's cool because I was reading a load of people from the last film really liked you, so do you sort of feel a bit of pressure to <laughs> meet up uh, with their expectations? I don't feel the pressure. Mm. Um, I. Chris might feel the pressure for the storytelling, but mm. no, all I can do is, is to maintain um, her sort of good and evil side. I like the unpredictability of her, but at the same time, Chris is the storyteller here. I can embrace her as a character, but he's actually the one who, who makes it good. <laughs> You just need to sort of show off and get the lines right. Yeah, exactly. Ah. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, you mentioned sort of stunts and stuff. You did your own stunts, didn't you? Yeah, I do. I don't do motorbike racing. The motorbike mm. racing. That's Jenny, the world's best racer. Um, I just watch her and I go, that looks great. <laughs> and there she comes again. Um, but I do the fighting. Um, some of the scenes I was pregnant in so we kind of had to bring in Lucy Cork my stunt double who is phenomenal but you know we are surrounded by the best of the best it's quite cool is there a lot Very of, cool. sort of training involved and stuff like that yes definitely I mean we are first of all you have to build a good physique you have to have a good sort of it's not the amount of looking good you have to be able to do the things that we need to do for the different scenes so there's regular training and running and some people do weightlifting. I do Pilates because my character leaps up a lot and does long whips with her legs. So I need to stretch. Otherwise, I'm, you know, I lock my hip. <laughs> Is it a painful process? Sometimes. Sometimes. But it's good pain. Mm. Do you know, I think yeah. some people, they don't like training. If you don't like training, then you can't, you can't be a part of the film. Um, it, it's so much a part of it. Um, and you're you're so pumped with adrenaline when you do these mm. scenes that you don't really feel the pain of anything until you get home. I mean, Tom probably felt pain when he broke his foot, <laughs> but other than that... There goes my potential career as a stunt actor then. <laughs> oh, well. Really? You don't like training? Oh, no. I mean, my body's a temple, clearly, but... <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned Tom breaking his foot. Um, yeah. You sort of had a two-month filming break. How did you... Fill the time, do you sort of sit around twiddling your thumbs or? Definitely, did nothing else. No. No, I went, uh, I dive. So I went Ooh. on a dive trip uh, and then um, I made a baby. But you know, other than that, um, I probably I twiddle my thumb thumbs. You know. God, you're cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, a key theme I sort of picked up on in the movie, especially yeah. with your character, is men being rubbish and then women coming along and sort of cleaning up the mess they've made. Is that, is that quite fun to show on screen? <laughs> Do you know what? I think that Chris have done beautifully here is to create characters that serve purpose, mm. whether or not they are men or women. Um, he's created human beings, and I think in today's society, yes, we have a lot of great women in this film, and they have strong sides, they're vulnerable, they are... Um, um, they can fight, they are intelligent, they serve a purpose, and if you take them out of the film, then the film would have holes in it. It would be a, a bloody big cheese. Um, and that is basically what equality is about. It's not about pushing down the men. Mm. It's about keeping everyone on the same level. Yeah. The franchise, it's been going 22 years, I think, roughly. Yeah. Do you think people would ever get bored of it? I haven't. Have you? No. There we go. <laughs> <laughs>